Hello friends and welcome to DAX Tutorials. Today's point of discussion is selected value DAX function in Power BI. What is selected value used for? Selected value will return the value when the context for the column has been filtered down to one distinct value. Else it will return you the alternate result. Right? So just to explain this, I have taken a very simple example one where you are having this coming from country, right? So these are the distinct list of country with me in my financial Excel sheet and I'll be also giving the link to the PBIX file where you can go ahead and download this for practice. So here we have given a slicer, right? Whatever you are choosing in the slicer, it should be displayed in this card. So as you are seeing, if I choose Canada, Canada is getting displayed. If I choose France, France is getting displayed. Okay. Uh, and if I choose USA, USA is getting displayed, right? So how have I written this? It's a very simple measure actually so if you go and see the measure i have i have already written selected country is the name of the measure and i've used this selected value right so as told that the first argument that i need to pass in selected value will be a column which is why i have passed the financials country right this particular thing is coming from country so so look the the slicer that i have created that is coming from country right so the same column I have passed in selected value as the first argument, right? So whatever you will select from here, the same country will get displayed over in the card. Now, what is the usage of the alternate result, right? So as I told you, whenever you are going to select, it only works in case of single select, right? So if I choose Canada, Canada is getting displayed. If I choose France, France is getting displayed. What if, if I do not choose anything, right? At that time, you will get this message. Please select a single country, which I have given as an alternate message, right? So fine. I hope you have understood example one. Let's go to example two quickly. So it is not only the fact that selected value will work whenever you need to choose anything, right? Even if you do not choose automatically with reference to this column, uh, it will pass the value. What I have done is the same thing selected country which which i have shown you in example 1 i have just i have just passed that as a second column in this selected uh, in this table right so you see this selected country over here great so you see uh, what is happening for the filter context is coming into the picture the first row is for canada so it is only returning canada in my selected value the second row is for france France gets returned over here but what happens when I come to the total right because uh, it defies there is no not a single select in case of total which is why you are getting the alternate message getting printed so this is not a logical thing you do not have total for any country or something so I will just go ahead and turn this off I have just uh, given this so that you can understand what happens when there is not a single select right uh, let me go ahead and show you the example 3 before that I will show you what happens in the usual scenario so what happens in a um, data model is there will be a fact table right and the dimension either it will be a calendar or a dim date or whatever uh, when you choose that particular year for that corresponding sales will be returned right 264 this is a sales for 2013 if I choose 2014 the sale will change right so whatever year you will choose correspondingly the dim will filter the fact and that data will be displayed in your graph but let's say there is a special requirement where uh, where the client asks you whatever you know uh, year you select the sales needs to be reflected from the beginning that is 2013 till 2015 so over here i am choosing 2015 i need the sales from the beginning till 2015 this is the usual scenario that happens. Let me show you how you can achieve what the client is telling. Right. So for that, what I have done is using the year. Okay. You see there is a year in financials table, right? So what I have done, I have created a summarize table over here using the function called summarize. Okay. What summarize does is it is basically groups by uh, a particular column. So over here, group by I have done on year right so i have stored in summary i have stored all the distinct year in the year table by creating this summarize financials financial year okay and i have pulled that year if you look over here the slicer this year 
if I hover, it is coming from here, right? It is not coming from this financials. I have created this table separately just to go ahead and, uh, you know, fulfill the task that the client is telling. Now, what was the requirement? The requirement was if I choose a particular year, the sales should be displayed from the beginning till that year. That means I have to disconnect my year from my main model. If I go to relationship, there is no relationship between year and financials, right? So this is the disconnected table. Now, so since it is not connected, if I choose any one year, automatically the data only for that year is not going to be passed to the fact, right? So now what I have done exactly is I have created a sales measure over here. In the first variable, I am taking the selected value of the year. So if you choose 2015, that 2015 will get stored in selected year. And what am I returning? I am returning my sum of sales, obviously, but, but the filter will be applied on the year column of financials. And I will say, give me those results where the year is less than equal to the selected year. So if I choose 2015, it will be year is less than equal to 2015. That means from beginning till 2015. Okay, let us see how this works. So if I choose 2015, it's going to give me the data for 2013, 2014, and 2015. If I choose 2014, it will give me data for 2013 and 2014. And similarly, if I choose only 2013, since there is no data beginning uh, prior to 2013, only 2013 is getting displayed. I hope you are clear with this example. Now, a very interesting case. If I do not choose anything, you see now blank is getting this displayed, right? But I do not want that. I, I want that even if blank is getting... If, even if the user does not choose anything from the slicer, he should be getting all the data getting displayed, right? So for that, I have to change my measure. I'll select the visual. I'll go to sales till selected year. And remember, the second magical parameter of selected value, that is an alternate result. So I, as of now, I will just hard code this to 2015, but you can also use some max or some other function to get the highest year stored over here. So for me, the highest year is 2015 and enter. Now it is getting updated. You see, if I if I am choosing nothing, then also you are able to see 2013, 14 and 15, right? So there are so many ways in which you can utilize this selected value function and it's one of the most important functions in DAX. If you're liking my DAX tutorial videos, guys, then I request you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so for getting the latest update please press the bell icon. If you have any questions related to selected value, you can go ahead and give it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.